Hey folks, it's me, CPC Gamer. It is the 24th of April, and my very first box has arrived. So, let's open it up and see what's inside. And hopefully take less than 13 minutes to do this, because I have matcha shortbread in the oven, and it'll be done by then, and I really don't want to burn it. You ever cook with matcha? That stuff is incredibly expensive. So, first impressions, uh, this is actually a, a lot bigger than I thought it would be. So that works in its favor. I was expecting something maybe half of this size. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and open it up. Hey, it's Master Hand. It's been a while. Sup, dude? Ah, oh, we have a thank you card. I will shuffle that that way and read that shortly. Now, I have been told a little bit about what to expect in Boxu. This is like uh, a menu or like a little walkthrough explaining what's in here and why and what, what sort of things does it represent. Okay, that is really, really well packed. Look at that. Now, going on with being slightly spoiled as to what's in this box, this is not the April 2021 box. This is like my first Boxu box. So if you sign up for the program, this is pretty much what you're going to receive. And I'm just gonna shuffle that over there so I can see what else we have in here. So, I was expecting multiples of those. That is also really, really cool. So we got some red bean donuts. I was expecting this to also be red bean donuts, but as, as we see here, that is sake candy. That sounds promising. And also, like, it's just gonna knock me on my ass if I'm not expecting it, because you ever had sake? Again, that stuff is really, really, really potent. Back over here, we've got... Oh, nice! We have some tea. One of the things that has been suggested to me because I picked up a Boxu subscription was... A different company, I'm not going to name, also not sponsored by them. But it's basically tea and cakes. I'm glad that they've included tea in this selection, and hopefully more to come, because it, it's very rare that we get individual packs of Japanese tea, so you have to be into it, or spend a lot of money to get a lot of it. A white strawberry. Oh, look at that dynamic focus. Can you tell I'm recording on my phone and not my 20-year-old camera? Amazing. Oh, I'm going to have to keep doing that. Um, so yes, these are labelled up as white strawberries. And that's uh, pretty much what the katakana down here says as well, white strawberry. So if I had to guess, that's going to be strawberry uh, dipped or coated in white chocolate. Sounds promising. Hmm. These ones I cannot read. At least not immediately. Nope, I got nothing. But they look like, I want to say crisps, or like breaded dough, or something like that. I don't know. I guess we'll find out when we try it. This stuff keeps coming, by the way. Just look at how much is in here. Oh, it's you! I know you! I'm, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm going to deduct points for this one. I've had these in snack packs before, and just in general before, like when I was in Japan. I don't like this one, but I can see why they would include it. It's actually like a, a very good entry-level snack, I guess you would say. But I, I, I recognize this one as well. Who remembers this one from many, many Christmases ago? This one is Puku Puku Tai, which is like a, um, like a chocolate biscuit in the shape of a fish, and it's like a little cream filling. Very nice, very nice indeed. I remember this guy. D d do you remember the memes? I've got a meme cake. I will eat that at some point soon. For that thing that he says in the meme. Alright, let's see what else we have. Oh, that looks to be a another one. This looks like a really big cookie. With apple in it. That one says forest. And that one says apple. And that says caramel. Ah, oh, man, can you tell I've been practicing? 
took me a while, but I got there. I've reached over behind the camera so I can pull this out. That looks like... In England, we have this like potato snack called uh, French fries, and they look a little bit like that. Except not. Is that lychee? That could be lychee. I don't know. Hopefully I'll be able to read it and Magic Crayon can do something in post-production. I still employ Magic Crayon, by the way. He's he's still around. He's still doing things. This is also not something I recognize. So Toshi Sudachi is what it says there. But I also don't know what it is. It looks to be citrusy. This looks like a lime. But again, I'm, I'm just... Just kind of guessing at this point. This one... Oh, they look like dried peas. That looks like a pea pod. So I'm going to guess that's going to be like dried edamame or something like that. Which, you know, I'm, I'm down for that. Edamame is delicious. We have a few more bits left in here. We have... These guys. Um, that says... Mochian, and that says Dango. Oh, it's like little Dango sweets. If anyone's ever played Monster Hunter, the new one, th this is like a candy version of that thing you get. I I've not played Monster Hunter, but my friend has, and he's obsessed with Dango. Wants me to make him some. Who knows? And we are coming towards the end of this one. We have one of those. Totori, the 20th century pair. That sounds like a character I would invent when I was in high school. That's a lie. They mostly followed a formula of adjective, adjective, animal name. Anyway, it's hard to see, but it says uh, pear fromage biscuit. So I'm going to guess that's going to be, well, basically that. It's, uh, like a creamy cookie. And the last one is... Panning over this way. This one is labeled just as Cute Selection. If I had to guess, I'm going to say that's matcha and chocolate chip. And it actually looks a little bit like Castella cake. Which, funny thing, I have recently learned to make. And it's kind of tricky, but it's one of my favorites already. Not as good as melon bread, though. I'll have to show you guys that sometime. So, just going to have a quick little... Ooh, nothing left in the box except for this nice message. And just going to pan back. I'm going to pan a ways back because we actually got a fair amount of stuff in this box. More than I actually thought we were going to get. So, this is the, as I say, the introductory box to Boxu. Next month is going to be something May themed. I don't know what that could be but we will find out when it arrives and when I open it. So until next time, goodbye.